Hello guys, today I would like to show you process of reselling a Klansman PRC 24 volt battery. Here on the picture I've got a battery that I do not recommend you purchasing for a resale purpose. This is the newer version and the newer doesn't mean better for us because it's made of plastic and it's not as rugged as the older one which is made from the metal. So here you can see the newer version, the plastic one from the side and here is the element that I do not like and the, this place when you hook up your battery to your radio is made of plastic and here you've got a metal element, here there are two springs and your radio and if the spring have a high tension and if you left your battery on your radio for a long time it will break that plastic element and I saw a lot of batteries which broken that plastic piece so that's something that I do not recommend you if you would like to make the battery for yourself for a long time and the second problem as you can see is the opening on the newer battery is from the bottom and the only place that it's connected is this small element of plastic so you have to put glue over here and connect it together so the seam is very small and if you stuff your things inside the battery it will be forcing downward on that plastic case so I do not recommend you that type of battery and the other problem is when you remove all your cells and you would like to put a different one for example a smaller one you don't want to replace one to one it starts to getting weak because it do not have support from the cell so it's bending when you touch it you can feel that this plastic is not as rugged as you would like to be after removing cells of course that's the battery that I actually recommend you for a reselling as you can see it's made from metal including the top plate here's from the side and as you can see that part is also a metal everything is one piece of metal as you can see there is just one piece of metal and the metal top lid there is no seam on the bottom this is just one whole case that's how it looks like uh, here you can see the foam that the cells are sealed so how to open that battery you just drill the rivets from the both side just grab your drill just drill them out then you insert your screwdriver and pry the top lid it's held by a foam inside I will show you in a second that's how it looks like when you remove your top lid it's just a metal plate you can see the foam that was holding it down and here are your cells covered in foam here you can see not clearly but there is a cable for the temp sensor and I absolutely recommend you not damaging it so you have to be very careful here are the terminals for the radio here you can see the rest of the rivets you have to grab your screwdriver and start removing the foam just like that you just putting your screwdriver in and again 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 unless you start to uncovering the cells here you've got your temp sensor you have to watch out for it that's how it looks like 
here you've got your cells here are cells after removing the top layer of foam and the question is how to take out this cell because there is no enough place to grab it and when you try to pull uh, by holding on the plate it will break so I found a very simple solution you just put a screw over here and then you can lift it up of course I assume that you are reselling this battery because the cells inside are dead so you don't have to care about them so you just put a screw and now you have a nice post that you can grab on using pliers just like that you just pulling it upwards very simple and very effective as you can see on the pictures that's how it looks like that's me grabbing a cell using pliers that's how it looks on the bottom you can see that the tab has break off so no worries still you can see the the tab here the temp sensor you just remove one by one this is our temp sensor inside is a diode but I will talk about this in a couple of seconds you have to watch out for the temp sensor there will be another temp sensor on the side that I will show you in a couple of seconds this is the temp sensor here is the diode and here we've got a remove the first layer of the batteries as you can see this is a second temp sensor on the side that's detecting the ambient temp that's how it looks like it's over here we are not going to touch it because that's it's in a good place so same situation we've got a second layer of the cells and we do not have anything to grab them and pull them up so like before we inserting a screw holding it by pliers and pulling upward so no problem no worries that's how it looks like so we just remove a first cell from the second layer and we continue so this is how it looks like after removing all the cells from the bottom layer so we've got over here our second temp sensor our positive and our negative and the main center sensor from the battery pack that's how it looks like from the close-up our temp sensor our second temp sensor that's how it looks like you can see that, that is made of alloy just one piece of metal so we've got a very good rugged design okay so we are going to reselling I decided to use a battery holder because it will take up a 20 AA batteries I would recommend you the Aniloop because they have a high discharge rating so they are very good for that reason I decided to use the battery holder because I can pull the battery and use in other application but if you want to just use them on the radio then you can of course spot weld the terminals I decide to add a fuse to be inspected I use a 24 volt car fuse no problem just in case I accidentally short the terminals the fuse will blow and no problem no worries so here we've got our battery glued by silicon tape to protect the terminals and we are going to do a one interesting thing we are going to grab our temp sensor and put it into a middle of the battery pack our new created like that here you can see the battery 
temp sensor and it's in the middle of the battery pack and here is our second sensor. Just little heat shrink tabbing for protection. So how the original charging working. So if you would like to use the charging circuitry from the DCCU, that's the original battery charger from the Clansman, they are going to use a very simple way because you've got a two temp sensor, there are diodes but they are, they are going to be used as a temp sensor. So they are detecting the ambient temp and they are detecting a temp of the cells. So there is one general rule when you start to charging up the nickel cadmium batteries when they are empty and they are taking a charge they are just doing a chemical reaction inside but when they are fully charged they are starting to produce a lot of heat so all the energy is converted to heat not from the for the chemical reaction so if you compare the ambient temp and temp of the cells when they are starts to heating up then you know that the battery are fully charged and yes I tested this also on the nickel met metal hydride cells on the Aneloop and it's working fine on the original DCCU charger. I tested this on the real military one and no problem because the output voltage I think it's about 30 volts and it's no problem charging them fully. Just they are starting to warm up and when they are warm up the DCCU show the green LED so it detects the full, full charge and cut off the charging voltage so no problem when the cells are going to cool down the temp sense will be detected different and there will be started again of charging so they will be have like all the time the full top charge so I tested this couple of time, I do couple of charge and discharge, I measure the capacity and I can tell you that the real DCCU have no problem in charging the Aneloop nickel metal hydrate. So I think I think that's all. And you of course put something to stop from rattling. I just lose a special foam and then you put your cover back and add a new rivet and you've got your reselled Clansman battery that you can recharge using the real DCCU. So I think that's everything what I would like to share with you. If you have any questions and comments feel free to ask. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.